Hey everyone, Gerbage here. You know, recently I've been interested in learning how to make my own game engines for no particular reason. And so for my latest project, I spent some time programming the world's most basic 3D graphics engine using OpenGL. So OpenGL, if you don't know, is a 3D graphics API that pretty much every graphics card supports. It allows a programmer to give instructions to the graphics card and make it put pictures on the screen. The first step to making any sort of 3D graphics is learning how to make a triangle. On paper, it's a pretty straightforward process. First, you plot out the location of the corners of the triangle, also known as vertices, in space. Then you draw lines connecting the vertices together, forming a polygon. And then finally, you fill in the polygon's face with a color, resulting in a triangle. Of course, making that actually happen with OpenGL requires a few more steps. Just know that basically you're sending a whole bunch of data about the thing you want to render to the graphics card, organized in a way that OpenGL can understand, and OpenGL draws it for you. There's this thing in game development known as the graphics pipeline, which is a multi-step process that takes raw vertex data and turns it into a rendered image on your screen. It's a very technical process requiring a lot of math, but OpenGL handles most of that for you automatically so that you can get straight to the good stuff. The hardest part for me was just understanding how to talk to OpenGL because there's a lot of technical sounding phrases and words being thrown around and there's a lot of setup you have to do beforehand. But once you get it, it's a pretty logical and straightforward process. And there are a lot of tutorials online that take you through the process one step at a time. And making triangles is cool and all, but eventually you're going to want to add more detail. One way you can do that is by giving each vertex a color resulting in this cool rainbow effect because OpenGL automatically fills in the color spectrum between the vertices. But if you really want to improve the detail of your graphics, you're going to want to use textures. Using any sort of image, you can tell OpenGL which part of the image you want projected onto the triangle using a shader. And again, OpenGL will just take care of it for you, which is nice, but I was kind of hoping to get a little more of a look under the hood instead of having OpenGL do everything for me. But I can always dive deeper into that stuff at a later date if I want to. Going from 2D to 3D is also very simple because everything already is in 3D. In OpenGL, all objects exist in 3D space and have a height, width, and depth. It's just that with 2D graphics, that depth is zero and the third dimension is mostly, but not always ignored. So to make a 3D object, all you have to do is add more vertices in the third dimension. And this is why that triangle we created is so important. The triangle being the simplest polygon can be smushed together with other triangles to create any other shape imaginable. And if you can create any shape imaginable, it means you can model any object imaginable out of triangles. It's the fundamental building block of all 3D graphics. But beyond this point is where things started to get really difficult for me. I had basic 3D cubes floating around in space, but I had no lighting setup for shadows and highlights, nor did I have a model importer so that I could use more complex 3D models. Now I did try to do both and I failed at both because my brain is small and the bugs were beginning to pile up and I was just overwhelmed by the amount of stuff I needed to do to go any further. And so this is where we're at. The world's most basic 3D engine outclassed by basically every other graphics engine in existence. But hey, it does 3D and I can at least be happy about that. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe one day I'll return to this project and expand it further. Uh, but for now, my brain is fried. And I just want to work on other things for a while. So look forward to seeing what I get up to in the next video. Uh, but anyways, as always, have a nice day.